Hello guys, here is a part 2 of present sample. So last video I was just quickly introducing you guys to present sample, but today we are going to see more details of it. So let's go. So as I said, I slide with common expressions. And recapping, so last class we saw the verb to be in Portuguese and then we have verbo ser and verbo estar. Verbo ser for permanent state and verbo estar for impermanent state and by impermanent I mean something that will not last forever. So for instance, to be sick, to be hungry, to be sad, to be mad, to be happy. So verbo estar. Alright, so the first thing that we must learn about verb is conjugação verbal. Translating conjugação verbal, we would have something like verb conjugation, but this verb conjugation, in this case, in this slide, has nothing to do with conjugating a verb like this. Even though the name is the same, it gives the same idea, in, in this slide, in this occasion, it has another meaning. So, conjugação verbal, it's basically when you get the verb in the infinitive form in Portuguese and then you would classify it in three different categories according to the characteristic of it when it's in, in the infinitive. So, let's see. Infinitive is when the verb ends with ar, er, ir, or or, <laughs> and then we have the three categories as I was saying. So, the first we have first conjugation, and it's when the verb ends with ar, second, er, third, ir. And by the way, just to tell you guys, we have the verb por and others related to it. So he por, the por, just por, compor, impor. And all of them belong to the second conjugation because por comes from the Latin por er. So whenever you see those verbs, you would know that they are from the second conjugation. So let's let me give you an example of it. So here I put some verbs in infinitive, cantar, to sing, coher, to run. So here to small, smile, <laughs> compor, to compose, to write a song. And then if we were to classify then to put like from which conjugation they belong to, and then we have cantar belongs to the first conjugation because cantar ends in R. So ends with R, first conjugation, cantar. Coher, second, because ends with er, so coher, er. So here, third conjugation, verb verbs that ends with er, third, and compor, it's from the second, according to this rule here. Alright, so here you have an exercise, and basically, and from you need to tell me from which conjugation this following infinitive verbs belong to. So, here we have some verbs in the infinitive form, and you need to tell me, are they from the first, second, or third conjugation? Then you must, I mean, maybe you should pause in this video now and try to think about it. And um, according to this rule, so ends with R, first, ends with er, second, ends with er, and then third conjugation. Alright, so maybe you would like to pause now and let me reveal the answer. So ser, it's from the second conjugation, comer, beber, they are all from second conjugation because they end with er, so er, er, er. Amar, it's from the first conjugation, so amar, cantar, falar, estudar, acordar, trabalhar, estar, all from the first conjugation because all of them ends with ar. And last, desistir from the third conjugation because it ends with ir. So desistir, assistir, they are both from the third conjugation. Alright, so here I chose some verbs from this slide and let's see more about them. So first we have verb amar, so to love. And here it's the conjugation of it. Eu amo, tu amas, ele, ela ama, nós amamos, vós amais, eles, elas amam. And here, remember, this symbol is from the Portuguese, from Portugal, but in Brazil we would say você ama, vocês amam, você, you, vocês, you, in plural. Alright, so just uh, extra information. So if you want to say I love you in Portuguese, then you can say eu amo você. Or if you want to say just love you, and then maybe you you could say te amo. 
And actually, according to the grammar rules, the correct way would be omote, like written this way, but it's hardly said this way. So, even though it's not grammatically correct, we of we are commonly saying teomo. And here, so an infinitive form of a verb can be put after amar or a noun. So, for instance, cantar to sing, comer to eat, and chocolate, a food, a dish, a meal, and a person. So, like in this case, a singer, Taylor Swift, a arrow. So, like the TV show. So, for instance, eu amo comer. I love to eat. Ela ama Taylor Swift. So she loves Taylor Swift. Vocês amam chocolate. And by the way, chocolate in Portuguese we say this as chocolate. The way that we write it, it's the same. It's just the pronunciation that's different. So chocolate and chocolate. So vocês amam chocolate. Here for comer to eat. Eu como, tu comes, ele ela come, nós comemos, vós comeis, eles elas comem. And here in Brazil, você come, vocês comem. Alright, so maybe a dish or a food can be placed after comer. And for instance, we have pizza, coxinha, brigadeiro, churrasco, barbecue. And basically here um, are the pictures of these dishes that I'm placing here on the slide. So here we have coxinha, brigadeiro, churrasco, the Brazilian barbecue. And by the way, this is a, a link. so maybe you would like to go to this link and and I included a recipe in, in English, so maybe if you are curious about it, then <laughs> here are the links. And alright, so if I want to say I eat brigadeiro, eu como brigadeiro, or maybe elas coming pizza, elas coming pizza, they eat pizza. And do you guys remember how to say a negative sentence in Portuguese? Well, we just need to include no between the subject plus um, between the subject and the verb. So, eu não como. So maybe if you are vegetarian, then you do not eat meat, and then you can say this in Portuguese. So I don't eat churrasco. Eu não como churrasco, and that's how it works. All right. So last, assistir to what? Eu assisto. Tu assistes. Eles. Ele. Ela. Assiste, nós assistimos, vós assistis, eles, elas assistem. And in Brazil, você assiste, vocês assistem. Alright, so maybe a movie, a documentary, reality show, TV show. Name can be placed after assistir. So maybe TV, Crazy Anatomy, Friends, The Voice, maybe your country name, Parasite. So for instance, they eat, they watch Friends. So Eles assistem Friends. Você, you watch um, Grey's Anatomy, so you watch. Você assiste Grey's Anatomy, and that's it. All right. So another thing that we must learn about verb is estrutura verbal, which is verb structure. So basically, we have radical, vogal temática, and tema. And um, maybe instead of reading this part and it would be easier to understand by looking at this table. So basically Hajj cow it's the what you guys call root if I'm not wrong in English so like the root of a verb so Hajj cow in Portuguese. Hajj cow is basically the infinitive form minus the termination. Vogal temática it's the vowel after the Hajj cow and tema it's Hajj cow plus vogal temática. So let's take a look. Here, amar it's in the infinitive as we saw, so it ends with letter R, so it's in the infinitive. And to have the hajkau, it's in the infinitive form minus the termination. And by termination, I mean you, you need to remove the last two letters from the infinitive form. It's basically R, R, or ir. So, for instance, amar. It's in its infinitive form. The termination is R, so amar minus R, and then we have an. So an, it's the hajkau. We got the magica, it's the vowel after hajkau, so the vowel after hajkau. And here we have letter A, so A. In tema, it's a combination of hajkau and vogal temática. 
So it's underscored here. So the hatch, the tema is Hachikau plus well, well the mask, and then the tema is Ama. And the same for Komer, so Komer minus Er, and then we have Kon, which is the Hachikau, Vogal Temática is letter E, so E, it's the Vogal Temática, and last, Tema, so combination of Hachikau and Vogal Temática, and then we have Komi, and last, Assistir minus Er, and then we have Assist, which is the Hachikau, the Vogal Temática is letter I, and then we have Tema, which is a combination of Hachikau and Vogal Temática, and then we have Assist, Assist is the Tema of a verb, and by the way, here I just copy and paste how we conjugate those verbs. So basically, like taking a look at this column here, I just copy and paste and put this all together. And so side by side we have amar, comer, assistir, so to love, to eat, and to watch. And by the way, as you may notice, when we are conjugating, so let's just take a look at this column. So amar, and all of the cells of this table, uh, it's included the Hachikau, so in green, Hachikau, and all of them have green, so all of them it starts with Hachikau, so try to remember this, alright, so the same here, so Komer, the Hachikau is Kon, kon and then we have Kon, in all of the conjugations, and the same for Assist, and then all of the conjugations have Assist, alright, so Let's do a small exercise about Hachikau. So what are the Hachikaus of these verbs? So remember Hachikau is the infinitive form minus the termination. So the termination, we only have four options for termination in this case, which is R, R, ir, and or. So all of these verbs are already in the infinitive form, so you, you just need to take a look at them and remove the termination. So for instance, Amar. It's already in the infinitive, and the termination for amar, here we have r, so amar minus r, and then we have um, right? Um. Here we have beber, so beber minus er, and then we have bab, and that's it. So maybe you would like to pause this video now, try to think about it, and I will reveal the answer now. So here, as I said, we have um, com, fal, cant, desist. Baby, assist, estude, accord, and trabalho, like this, following this structure, so the verb in the infinitive minus the termination. Alright, so another thing that we must learn about verb is that when they are in present simple, they have mm, something called termi termination, so termination of variables, and we have one for each subject and for each type of conjugation so remember first second third first are second ear er, third ear er. so here we have we have like for one subject we have three different terminations and it's according to the the classification of the verb so if it's from the ear er, are or ear er, and then it's a it has a no column related to it, and I mean, you don't really need to memorize this part, because you can also, if you can always consult this table to conjugate a verb, and let me explain this actually better. Alright, so let's learn how to conjugate a regular verb in, pres in presente do indicativo. So first we should, number one, know which conjugation the infinitive verb belongs to, so is it first, second, or third? Know the Hachikau of the infinitive verb. So remember Hachikau, infinitive form, minus the termination. And it can be R, R, ir, or, or. And know the terminations of each subject and conjugation type. And it's basically about this um, table, this table, this slide. So first, we need to know the termination of each subject and conjugation type. And by conjugation type, I mean is it first, second, or third? So first, second, or third. And then, as you can see, so for instance, taking a look at the first conjugation, they are different for each subject. So for I, we have O, for you, we have as, for she, and he, a, we, amos, you, eyes, and they, um. So they are different, and we must pay attention to this. All right. So, like, just to summarize, basically, the table with conjugations for each subject it's composed by Hachikau 
plus terminations. Alright, so do you remember when I said about this that all of them they have the hedge cow? So as you can see here, green, green and green, all of them starts with green. So remember, green is hedge cow. And let's take a look at the part in in blue or maybe it's kind of black in your screen. So here, after green, we have this small, uh, this letters, right? So we have O as i mean only the green sorry the black or blue dark blue part so o as a amos eyes and um are they familiar yes they are because they are from this column and this table here so o as a amos eyes um and if you want to check about oh sorry here so about second and third you will see that the structure is the same so the termination O is a amos ace n. It's also repeated here for comer, which is from the second conjugation. So O is a amos ace n. And again, the the hatch cow is the only thing that will repeat in all of the subjects. So basically, we have this structure when we are conjugating a verb, a regular verb. And I will talk about a regular and regular verb later. But I mean, for regular verb. So here, regular verbs, we have here for R, which is from the first conjugation, we have, when we are conjugating it, cow plus the termination, and these terminations here, they are from this slide. So, cow plus O, cow plus as, cow plus A, for verb that ends with R, so remember, R, Amar, R, um, 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 hedge cow plus the termination. So here in black, in dark blue, the termination. It's the same for first, second, and third. And here, as you can see, the structure is the same. And all of them will start with hedge cow, and the difference will be only the termination here, what comes after the hedge cow. Alright, so here I put like step by step with the information. So when I say that we should conjugate regular verbs in present indicative, we should first know which conjugation the infinitive verb belongs to. So in this case, let's take a look. Cantar to sing. Cantar ends with R, right? Cantar, R. So cantar, it's from the first conjugation, right? And now let's let's mm, get to know the cow of cantar. So cow of cantar it's the infinitive form, the infinitive form minus R. And by the way, this R it's related to this part here. Like not really, but as you can see, they are similar. They are kind of related. So we have the infinitive form, which is already here written. So cantar it's already in the infinitive form minus R, which is the termination. And then we have kanch. So kanch is the hedge cow. And last we have the terminations here. And by the way, you don't really need to memorize this, and the terminations are only like you can simply simply copy and paste this column, and then you get the terminations for cantar because cantar, as we saw here, is from the first conjugation. That's why we would copy and paste from this column here. So first conjugation, and then we have here cow and then termination. Eu canto, tu cantas, ele, ela canta, nós cantamos, vós cantais, eles, elas cantam. For beber, so beber, it's in already in the infinitive form, and it belongs to the second conjugation because it ends with er. So beber, er, it's from the second conjugation. The cow is beber minus er, so beber minus er, and then we have bebe. So bebe is the cow. And last, the termination that I just copy and paste from this table as well. So here, beber, remember, beber ends with air, and air, it's second conjugation. Remember, air, second conjugation. So here, the terminations. And basically, putting all together the radical plus terminations, and we have eu, bebo, tu, bebes, ele, ela, bebe, nós bebemos, vós bebeis, eles, elas bebem. Verbo desistir, to give up, so desistir. As you can see here, the last two letters, they are ir, so ir, 
it's from the third conjugation. This is Shir, third conjugation. In Hajikawa, and then to get the Hajikawa, we must put the infinitive form minus the termination. So this is Shir minus Ir, and then we have the Zist. So the Zist is the Hajikawa. And here are the terminations from that table and putting all together. So Hajikawa plus termination, then we have the Zist plus O. Eu desisto, tu desistes, ele e ela desiste, nós desistimos, vós desistis, eles e elas desistem. And by the way, when I copy this and these terminations, we can already understand, it's not written, but we do understand that the first one is related to the subject I, the second you, the third he, she, here for we, you, and they. So even though it's not written, we are kind of remember and memorize that order. So I, you, he, she, and then we, you, and finally they. All right, so let's conjugate this verb now. I, I will be doing right now with you guys. So verbo abrir, abrir to open. So as you can see here, abrir, it's already in the infinitive form. So first, as we can see, the first step is to know which conjugation the infinitive verb belongs to. So abrir ends with ear. So ear, it's from the third conjugation, right? Because all of those verbs from the third conjugation, they end in ear. And now know the hajikau. So hajikau, remember when I said that it's the infinitive form? So infinitive form is abrir minus the termination. The termination, so is ear. And then doing this, so abrir minus ear, and then we have a, b, r, right? And last, no determinations. So for this, you don't really need to memorize it, and if you don't remember, you we can always go to this table and even copy and paste. So let me copy and paste from this because abrir is from the third conjugation, right? Abrir, third conjugation. And if you forgot, let me go back to this slide quickly. So abrir and with I and R, so abrir, third conjugation. And that's where it comes from, third conjugation. All right, so let's go back to here. And then I will copy, and, I mean, I will put it here, determinations. So as I said, it's not written, but we already know that O for I is for you, E for he and she, Imos for we, is for you, and last, and for they. And that's it. So remember that when we are conjugating, we put first the Hajikau. So Hajikau, as we saw here, Hajikau is ABR. So ABR is the Hajikau plus the termination. So the termination for I is letter O. So eu abro again Hajikau plus termination. For tu, for you, we have e, e as. So is tu abres. Again Hajikau. Ele ela. So he, she, letter E. Ele ela abre. Hajikau plus termination. Imos. Nós abrimos. Hajikau plus termination, so is here. And last, Hajikau plus termination, which is em. So, eles, elas abrem. And basically, that's how you conjugate a verb. It's not that hard, right? You just need to follow these steps if you are still not used to it. So, remember, first, get to know from which conjugation it belongs to, so is it first, second, and third, and maybe to be easier for you, you can always you can also include, so is it R, R, or ear, so here, third, ear, and then you need to do this to get to know the Hajikau, so infinitive minus determination, and for this part you can maybe like cop from this part, so abrir minus ear, and then we have a, B, R, which is the Hajikau. And last, this part, you can always copy and paste from that table that I showed, and then 
I mean, at this part to include in parentheses, it, you really don't need to do this only if you are still confused about it. And then that's how you conjugate, because later you would add first the radical, so radical ABR plus the termination. And remember that each subject owns and each subject have has a specific termination. So here in this case, O is A, E must is A. And then the radical is the only thing that will be repeated in all of the subjects, and that's it. Alright, so remember when I said that we will see verbo regular and irregular, so irregular and regular verb. So verbo regular don't change, so regular verbs don't change the radical. And basically, so as I said, those verbs that I showed here, they are all regular verbs. And as you can see, all of them, in all of the conjugations, in all of the subjects, they they have the radical, say, so they don't change radical here and here and here. So that's what I mean by the having the regular verbs, not changing the radical. And for irregular verbs, so they change the radical and or the ending when conjugated. So some irregular verbs we have ser, star, saber, to know, ouvir, to listen. And I mean, you really don't need to stress yourself about knowing if it's a regular or irregular verb. Of course, it does have a difference when you're conjugating it, because for irregular verb, it, it doesn't really have a pattern, so it's kind of harder to conjugate this verb, those verbs, but don't worry about it. It's not really important to know if it, to study if they are regular or irregular. It's not important to study this part, to like tell them apart if, if is it if it is regular or irregular and just to make this easier to understand so here we have comer and as you can see the radical comer is com so all of them they start with com so as you can see here all of them starts with com so this is a regular verb comer it's a regular verb but here ser so maybe we, we must assume that letter only the letter s is the Radical of it, and as you can see here, we have e and e, so it's not following a pattern, so it's not a regular verb, and that's why we call this irregular verb, and that's it. All right, so last we have a homework here. So first, number one, determine if this following verbs belongs to first, second, or third conjugation. So here are the verbs, and I mean, I, it's already. In the infinitive form, and then I put the translation in case you want to know. So here are the verbs. So please tell me, are they first, second, or third? So for instance, ajudar ends with r. Remember, r from the it's from the first conjugation, and that's it. And there you go. Number two, choose five verbs from the exercise above and conjugate them. So you must choose five verbs from this list here and please conjugate then it's basically doing what we just did here so radical plus termination and so for instance if the verb is permitted then eu permito tu permites ele ela permite nós permitimos vós permites eles elas permitem and i mean because i already did it with premature then please don't choose this verb and well, that's it. And if you can create a table or just write in your answer, it's up, it's up to you. And that's is it. And then you can DM me, and I will correct your homework. And last, we have a link where you can write a review. And as I always say, you can always see the slide presentations and the tables. I mean, the table is not really important, but by the way. But still, and then you must check the pings in Portuguese chat channel. And if you want to be notified whenever a Portuguese lesson is about to start, then I would recommend you to get the Learning Portuguese role in Set Languages. And last, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM me. So my username and my tag. Um, I I'm, I'm aware that this lesson 
not the easiest one so if you had trouble understanding a part or everything from the lesson and it's okay then me and i will help you well that's it thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye bye